nice little race, right? Just cruising down the highway and then... Really? Really? <sighs> you had to hit me a last time. <laughs> uh, what's going on guys? How are y'all doing today? Uh, I'm here racing in GTA 5. Um, racing the map, the cruise, and this was just, we, yeah, uh, I was just racing online, and they decided to race this track three times over, and this is in the middle of the second one, because for some reason the guy chose to do SUVs, and it was just... Both of these races were, all three of these races were ridiculous, but these two in particular were really annoying. And I'll just let this play out, and you can see what happens. So, at this point, I'm just kind of ticked off at this white suburban guy from what he did uh, to begin with to me. So I was just racing, had a clean line, and he came up and just plowed right into me. So, out of sight, I'm going to try to get this guy back. Or, at this point, I'm just like, okay, whatever. He didn't want to wreck me that time, so I'm just going to let it go. But he wrecks this guy. Or tries to. So, and bye-bye! <laughs> And he's just wrecking everyone at this point, and yeah, I did that on purpose. Didn't really affect him as much as it did me, unfortunately, but... Right there, when he wrecked that green car, I had just about enough of this fool. And at the start, I was in third place, so it, there was a failed pit maneuver because um, his vehicle weighs a, a bit more than mine does. But I have the speed, so I can catch up to him even when catch up is on. And I take him out right there. You can hear the horn in the background, um, basically going "screw you." So, the rest of this is just kind of, but the rest of this race mostly is a chill race, except for this guy, which I don't know why he was trying to put me into the wall right there, and then he's trying to wreck this guy for no apparent reason. It, just a bunch of nonsense with a bunch of people. And then, right there, I get the speed boost, so I'm like, see you later! We're getting towards the end of this, and I'm thinking, wow, I haven't really seen anybody finish. Now you can see it down below, to the left, a couple of people are finishing, one guy's leaving. <laughs> um, so, as soon as I think, okay, maybe I am in the clear, because I knew I was getting fairly close to the end, um, people started finishing, and I was hoping I'd have enough time to finish, and more ridiculousness is awaits at the bottom of here. You can see. Like that fool. Why do people do that? <laughs> why why do they just reverse and go the opposite direction? I don't get it. At this point I decide, okay, he can wreck me, but I'm not gonna let this moron wreck anybody else. So that happens like that. This guy hit a pole. 
but unfortunately, I didn't finish. That guy caused me not to finish. I would have been right on the border of getting it, but thanks to that guy, didn't do it. So here we go to the voting screen and everybody just starts spamming all over the place and then the few people that weren't voting started voting replay again. So <laughs> it got kind of monotonous at this point. There, as you can see there guys um, it was created by R.J. Uh, Rocarthy58? I can't really read that very well. But, it's a cool race. It basically just goes from one side of the map to the other. And... It seems like it's made for supercars, unfortunately. But in this third and last race I did, uh, they switched it back to super. And we just had a good old time. Except for the carnage that was the rest of this. So here I decided to just take this car because it had the most speed that I could see. And also I decided to look through here and see how everybody was. And I ended up finding a tryhard right at the last couple of seconds. And there he is. 865 wins. Like over a thousand losses. Come on man. Like, <laughs> do something else. Although, I will say, that's not the worst I've seen on here. I've seen one person with supposedly 10,000 losses. Ridiculous. And as you can see, people just being morons at the start. Wrecking every which way. Um, <laughs> I don't know what all that is about. People just... I don't know if their connection's bad, they go after everybody else or what, but it's pretty ridiculous. And there are some people in this lobby that were racing cleanly that I, if you race me cleanly, I try to race you cleanly to the best of my ability, um, such as, like that guy, he came back past me fairly cleanly. Unfortunately tries to run that guy off the side of the road. I don't know if he's seen him. But at least I thought he was running cleanly. Then he does this. Runs me off the side. That did not make me too happy after I gave him plenty of space. But So guys, here I'm just trying to run my race, catch up to everybody, and like these guys, jeez, that <laughs> was close, isn't it? Everybody's just wrecking each other, so 
you're in these lobbies, it's pretty easy to catch up. And whatever you're doing. <laughs> Unfortunately, when catch up is on, it also affects you as well. So whoever's out front is really kind of screwed. as long as the guy behind you is at least halfway decent in racing. As you can see, they take out that guy right there. The silver car, which is actually going to come into play a little bit later, too. In this race. Up right there, he wrecks both himself and first place, so I get first place here for a little bit. But, like I just said, since catch-up was on, I'm basically going slower than I could be. And, you watch the mini-map down there, you can see one car does catch up to me, followed by a few more and just goes flying right past. Fortunately that guy didn't try to wreck me. That purple car is kind of a jerk. This guy, I think he's trying to give me a speed boost and it kind of backfires. <laughs> but I swear, I, I still don't know how that guy that I hit in the rear spun out. Because I hit him solid in the rear and it's just a mess. Here I take first back again. And then purple car tries to ram me a couple times. Right there. I miss that checkpoint. Pop up here in a second. Tell me I'm going the wrong way. This basically takes me out of the whole race and coming in first. Um... But I just keep going because everybody else is going like this for a little bit. Um, I figured, well, surely it didn't just affect me. But, as y'all seen, I missed the checkpoint. And clearly everybody else did. So, right here, I come to the realization, there's no way I'm going to win this race. So, <laughs> I just try to race as good as I can. And at least try to finish so it's better than the last one. Which, I do finish, but I need literally every second to do so. And that part of it is not entirely my fault. In fact, it's not my fault. Because whoever they were that were crashing everybody, going in the reverse way, in the last race, they want to do it again. Here comes the first one right down this hill. Doink. I honk a couple times. Screw you! And the second one. Second one is pretty annoying. And hey look, it's the silver guy again. But, if you watch the race uh, thing, I finish at the last possible second. So, anyway guys, that's going to do it for this one. Appreciate y'all watching, uh, and I will see everybody in the next video. See you later.